Ramadan Picks Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh My dear brothers and sisters in Islam I welcome you all to another episode of Ramadan Picks Here we are in the last 10 days of this powerful month the month of Ramadan and inshallah ta'ala this video I'm going to be focusing on a very powerful night within the last 10 nights and also the last 10 nights inshallah ta'ala but before I delve into the content, I would like to read out a surah that is related to this powerful night that I hope to touch on, inshallah. That. A'udhu billahi min ash-shaytanir rajeem. Bismillahir rahmanir rahim. Inna anzalnahu fi laylatil qadr wa ma adraka ma laylatul qadr laylatul qadr khayrun min alf shahr tanazzalu al malaikat wa ruh fiha biidhni rabbihim min amr our maker states in the noble quran indeed we sent the quran down during the night of decree the night of power and what can make you know what is the night of decree what is the night of power the night of decree is better than a thousand months allahu akbar the angels and the Ruh, i.e. Jibreel descend therein by permission of their Lord for every matter. Peace it is until the emergence of dawn. My dear brothers and sisters in Islam, this surah talks about Laylatul Qadr, which can be translated as the night of power, the night of decree. And this night is hidden within the last 10 nights of Ramadan. So my dear brothers and sisters in Islam, from this we clearly understand that this night is a powerful night. It is a night better than a thousand months. And it is a night that is hidden within the 10 nights, the last 10 nights. No one knows precisely as to whether the Laylatul Qadr, the night of power would fall on the 21st, on the 23rd, on the 25th, on the 27th. We don't know. Allah Alam, Allah knows best. So it is upon us to strive each and every night from the last 10 nights to try and attain this night. Because if you attain this night, you have attained a night that is more powerful and better than a thousand months. Do the math. It is almost equivalent to 80 odd years. You don't even have a guarantee that you would live that long. Allahu Akbar. You get that night and you reap so many rewards from Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. So now inshallah ta'ala, having highlighted the beauty and the virtues of this powerful night and the last 10 nights of Ramadan as well, I would like to share with you all an action plan that we can try to bring into, in, into our lives to try and make the best out of the last 10 nights of Ramadan. Action item number one, remain in i'tikaf. The best way of catching the blessed night is to remain in i'tikaf. Uh, both men and women can do. If it is not possible for one to remain in i'tikaf for the whole of the 10 nights, then one should try and remain in i'tikaf for as many days and nights possible. It is also possible to make intention of a, an optional i'tikaf each and every time one enters the masjid to gain as many rewards from Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala for the time spent in the masjid. Number two, Worship all 10 nights. In the sense, throughout the 10 nights, you're supposed to worship Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Try and do as many good deeds as possible. Uh, because obviously, each and every good deed from Maghrib until Fajr on Laylatul Qadr, you have to understand, is rewarded a minimum of at least 83 years of worship. It's multiplied. Allahu Akbar. So let us try and do as many good deeds as possible. Number three, the best dua to read during the last 10 nights uh, according to one particular narration, Aisha radiallahu anha is reported to have asked the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, O Messenger of Allah, if I coincide with Laylatul Qadr, with the night of decree, what should I supplicate in it? He sallallahu alayhi wa sallam then taught her to read, Allahumma innaka afuvun tuhibbul afwa fa'fu anni. Allahumma innaka afuvun tuhibbul afwa fa'fu anni. A powerful dua. Allahumma innaka afuv. Oh Allah, you are the most forgiving. O oh Allah, forgive me, overlook my faults, O oh Allah, pardon me. We are asking the forgiveness of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. So this is a beautiful dua that we should keep reading throughout the last 10 nights of Ramadan. 
to somehow secure the forgiveness of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. And during the last 10 days and nights of Ramadan, it is important that you eat light and keep yourself hydrated. Because the more you eat, the more you feast during the last 10 nights of Ramadan, you're going to end up becoming very lethargic, very lazy and very sleepy. You're not going to be productive. You're not going to wish or want to do a lot of good deeds because you'll feel very tired. But on the other hand, if you eat light and if you keep yourself hydrated, you're going to feel very energized and you will be able to do as many good deeds as possible. And finally, my dear brothers and sisters in Islam, involve yourself in a lot of dua. Ask Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala in regard to all that which you have in terms of requests and, and duas that you want answered by Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Because these are powerful nights and the duas will be answered by Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Each and every one of us, we have requests to make. So let us knock on the door of the most powerful, the king of all kings, for he is the most generous and he will answer our duas inshallah ta'ala. And last but not least, don't forget to secure Tawbah. Turn back to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala in sincere Tawbah. Tawbah is not something restricted for the month of Ramadan, but there's no harm in using Ramadan as a stepping stone, if you will, to turn over a new leaf, to mend your ways, to turn back to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala in sincere tawbah. Never ever lose hope in the mercy of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. He is the most forgiving, the most merciful. He is waiting for us to turn to Him. Many a time when we open up the Quran, what do we read? We read, Inna Allah ghafoor rahim, Inna Allah ghafoor rahim. The month of Ramadan, the last 10 nights of Ramadan are an amazing opportunity to turn back to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and seek His forgiveness. Allah Azza wa Jal has chosen these seasons, chosen these timings as a blessing for us, for us to turn to Him, for us to do as many good deeds as possible and reap as many rewards as possible. May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala help us all to turn to Him. May He help us to attain Laylatul Qadr. May He help us to end the month of Ramadan in a very, very beautiful way. And may He help us to attain many more Ramadan in the future. And may He forgive all of our sins, accept our good deeds. And just as how He kept uniting us across all these videos, may He unite us in the gardens of Jannah with our beloved Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa alihi wa sallam. I look forward to talking to you all in another video soon. So until then, I love you all for the sake of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Jazakumullah khair. Wassalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh.